what's going on everybody it's your guy realistic and i'm doing another tutorial for soundoracle.net and in this video i'm going to show you how to route your daw sessions live into zoom and share it with the people that are watching but first if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to our youtube page that way you can stay up to date with our latest tutorials and videos just like this one and you'll get tips and tricks directly in your mobile feed also oracle and i have a brand new online mastering course out right now called the art of mastering is filled with over 75 videos and nine hours of professional mastering techniques so i'll put the link in the description below if you want to sign up for that course so i wanted to put a little video together of how to route your daw sessions into a zoom meeting especially now with uh, the pandemic and and more things are becoming more virtual this is something that's really useful i got the idea because the other day i was uh I did this with uh, my artist, Pharaoh, and I, I posted it on IG, you know, just in the story showing off like, hey, you know, we're we're going through uh, a, a session live. He's in Hawaii. I'm in Atlanta and we're in Zoom and I'm sharing it with him. And I got a bunch of DMs and replies from that post right there. of People are like, yo, how did you do that? So I figured let me just do a whole tutorial on how to do this. It's pretty simple and it's not too hard, but there are a couple steps. And if you miss the steps, it's not going to work properly. So that's why I just want to go ahead and just do a little video quick. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to make sure that your zoom is up to date, or at least it's been updated since like March or April, because that's when they made this change. Uh, if you updated since April, you're probably good. But either way, it's it's good just to update anyways. So if you want to check your updates, all you got to do is just come up here to this drop down menu here where it says Zoom. And then just want to go for check for updates. As you can see, I'm already checked for your update. Okay, so after you update, you do have to restart your computer in order for your computer and your DAWs to recognize this as a playback engine. So just go ahead and restart that if you've updated. If you've updated since uh, April, you've probably already restarted, so you're good to go. So then after that, uh, if any of this, if you want any of this to actually work inside of Zoom, you do have to make sure that your uh, session is in 48k and i think that they did that because traditionally audio is 44.1 88.2 or 176.4 whereas video is traditionally 48k 96k or 192k right and so because of that because this is video and video traditionally works with those sample rates it does have to be at 48 and most DAWs is pretty simple if you want to uh switch the sample rate, which I'll show you that. Uh, in Pro Tools, there's a little workaround, but I'll also show you that as well. So after your session is in 48K, for the first time, you wanna make sure that your DAW is closed. After the first time that you do this, you don't ever have to worry about these steps again. But for the first time, make sure you're, that your DAW is closed. And then you wanna open up Zoom. You wanna go ahead and start a new meeting here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start this meeting here. All right. This right here, I just got a, a device set up here to where I can use my phone as a as a webcam for that. So that's why we're seeing this screen because I'm using my phone to do this tutorial rather than uh, a webcam. That's a whole different thing. But either way, yeah, you just want to go ahead, start a new meeting. And then what you want to do here is uh, you want to share your screen here. And then we can like choose, you know, uh, either a desktop or like the Duh. So I'm going to choose that we're going to share Pro Tools here. Now, this is also important. This is why I want to show the, the steps here to make sure that we were on the same page. We want to select this down here, share sound, right? And then drop this down here. Once we go to share sound, drop this down. It's going to start off in mono. We actually want to share that in stereo high fidelity. That way they can enjoy the whole, you know, uh, sonic palette of your of your session plus mono it might sound a little wild on, on their end too so we'll just select that we're gonna hit share okay so again only for the first time do you have to make sure your DAW is closed so now that you've done that then you're gonna open up your DAW and then what you do is you just change your playback engine here and then on Pro Tools all we do is just go up to our setup window go to playback engine and then we can drop this down to zoom audio and then that's it after your first time of ever doing this, you can have the session open up and switch it to your Zoom audio device for your playback engine. 
before you even open up Zoom. It's just the first time that you do this, you you have to do it this way in order for your DAW to recognize that as a playback engine option. So that's all you would do in uh, Pro Tools here. And then I did wanna say in Pro Tools, I'll show you how you would do it if you want to um, make get this in 48K. All you gotta do is go up to File, just drop down to Save Copy In, and then you can uh, switch this over to 48K. You hit OK, and it's going to create a new version inside. Uh, it's going to create a new Pro Tools version that's going to be 48K. And you got to do that in order to make sure that it actually uh, will work with Zoom. And those are, are literally the steps. Like I said, after you've done this the uh, first time, uh, you can literally just open up your uh, DAW session like you normally would, switch the playback engine to Zoom, and then you can open up Zoom at a later time, and it will work. Uh, as far as uh, Zoom to make sure that your audio is actually being played through, because you may be wondering, well, if I switch my playback engine to Zoom, how am I going to hear it uh, off of my speakers or my interface? Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you do is, under preferences here, you just go to audio, and you just want to make sure that your output is whatever your interface is that way if you think about it your uh, DAW is going to be going to zoom and then your zoom is going to go to your interface interface you know is going to go to your speakers and then you'll be able to hear it so that's all you got to do there and then before I end this I just wanted to show everybody where you would go inside of uh, the other DAWs at least the major DAWs I don't have like the smaller DAWs on my computer but I'll just show you like the the major DAWs so the first one that we'll start off with here is Ableton if you want to know where that's at uh, to be able to switch your playback engine. Now on most of your DAWs, you can just hit uh, command comma and it will pull up pre preference. But for the sake of this video, I'll just show you exactly where it is in case you don't want to do that quick command. So you just go up to here where it says live. We're going to go to preferences here. And then we're just going to make sure that we switch the output device to zoom audio. And then we just want to make sure their sample rate is 48. So that's how you would do that. In Ableton, if we go to Logic here, uh, all we're going to do here, same thing. We could hit command comma or we just go to Logic, go down to preferences here want to make sure that our output device is going to be zoom and then with our sample right here logic's a little weird where it's in a different section but we're going to go to file we're going to drop down to project settings we're going to go to audio and then we can just switch our sample right here to 48k okay let's go on to reason how we would do this in reason same thing command comma or we go down to reason drop down to preferences here we go to audio device we can switch that to zoom audio and then we can switch our sample rate to 48 right there uh, then i'll touch over fl here same thing here we go to fl we drop down to preferences here we want to make sure that we go to the audio tab here and then we want to switch our device to zoom audio and then we can switch our, our sample rate to 48 and that's how you do that in each of the DAWs and uh, it's pretty simple and once you do that you'll literally be able to not only share your screen live to the people watching in your zoom meeting but also when you hit play they're gonna hear it in full quality they're not gonna hear it off of the mic you know what I'm saying where it's gonna be like this hollow you know reverb sound it's they're actually gonna hear what's inside of your session because we're using our session, we're sending our session into Zoom and we've shared the audio with that. So they'll be able to hear it in full quality. They'll be able to enjoy the punch of the kick, the uh, the the feel of the low end. They'll be able to hear the sizzle of the snares, the hi-hats, they'll be able to hear all of that. It's really easy, but I did wanna put uh, together a video so y'all could see how that's done, especially in the time that we're living in. This might be really handy for you to be able to know how to do this. And then as a cool little bonus tip here, especially if you're going to be in sessions working with people or have people viewing, what's really cool is you can also grant people uh, access uh, remotely to control your session or vice versa. If you want to remote in on somebody else's uh, session, then you can control it from your computer or they can control it from uh, their computer. So I'll show you. Uh, when you're in your zoom meeting all you want to do is go to share screen so we'll go ahead and share our screen here and then at the top here we'll see this option here uh remote control so if you got multiple people in there it's going to let you know who's uh in the session here to uh allow access here so we just click on that 
and now we can get somebody else to have access. So I'll grab my uh, MacBook because that's where I'm, I'm sharing this from. So then what I can actually do is I can go in and like I can actually move things around on my MacBook. And as you can see on the screen over there, it's moving things as I'm moving things around on the, the MacBook here. You can see I just was able to pull down the fader on the, the screen there all from a different computer. Right. And so that can be really handy because what you could do is essentially if you're in a session with a, a client and you're sh sharing your screen, you can grant them access and then they can start controlling things. Or if you want what you want to do is if you're an engineer or producer and you're working with an artist that's having a problem on, on their session, you can remote in, just uh, walk them through the steps to be able to share their screen and be able to grant you remote access. And then you can literally control their session from your computer across the world and you don't even have to be there. So that's also another really cool thing that this allows you to do. So like I said before, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. That way you can stay up to date with videos just like this and you'll get those tips and tricks directly in your mobile feed. Also, Oracle and I do have that brand new online mastering course right now called The Art of Mastering. The link will be in the description below. Until next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel right here so you can stay up to date with our latest videos on mixing, mastering, and production. And you can also check out some of our suggested videos here, here, and here. And of course, if you're looking for premium loops and samples, we got the best on the market. You can check out soundoracle.net. We got plenty to choose from.